Black tea is a beverage imported from Western countries back in the Japanese colonial period. Isn't the shiny red liquid just like a precious ruby? Let's get to know Taiwan black tea. Hi! I saw the sign that says the Honey Black Tea Museum. Is that the specialty here? Yes, it's famous. It uses a large leaf variety and is suckled by a smaller green leaf hopper. Then we make it a completed fermented tea. That's called Honey Black Tea. Honey Black Tea? So does it really taste like honey? In just a minute, you can taste it yourself. Really? Sure. How <laughs> cool. I'll follow you. Let's go. Yeah. Mmm. Ah, the taste is mellow and smooth. I taste honey. So unique. Yeah, this is a seedling suckled by the smaller green leaf hopper. It's more yellow here. Oh. So, other than as a hot beverage, how can we drink it? As a hot brew or cold brew. Oh. When making a cold brew, once the aroma of the leaves is released, mm -hmm. it will be seized by the ice water, so the aroma is stronger than hot brewed tea. Wow, so refreshing! When I drink it, I feel like there's a sweet, classy lady in front of me. It's wonderful! I was just talking about the smaller, green leaf hopper suckled tea. Mm -hmm. And we produce these 12 different specialty teas. Wow, 12 kinds of tea? It's like making wine. With different brewing processes and different fermentation, the tea can turn into so many types. From non-fermentation, partial fermentation, to full fermentation. Today we have prepared four different specialties. Please taste the differences, all right? Wow. Mm. This is really amazing. You know your teas very well. And you have worked a lot and devoted so much time in the research, trial, and innovation stages to finally develop these 12 specialties, all unique flavors and unique tastes. I must also salute the tea workers. They work very hard and are so professional. Do you know how to select a good quality tea? Today I have a tea expert with me, Huga. Huga, please share with us your knowledge. All these tea sets, you're well prepared. Hmm. First, please tell us how to select good tea. It's not hard to pick good tea. The tea leaves should be curled up. Oh, curlier the better. Those uncurled leaves mean they're not rolled up enough. The color should be fairly dark. Now let's smell it. In other words, the smell of the tea shouldn't be soggy. It must smell dry, nice and dry. Oh, yes, that's true. I don't smell any moisture at all. Today we have four plates of tea leaves, small tea leaves. Hey, just now we picked up uh, is what? India's Assam tea. What about this? It looks the same to me. This is from an 80-year-old tea tree that we especially preserved, the emerald. Wow, it's really extra old. Yes, because of the white part at the tip. The third one here we call Thai tea number 21. Its name is Hong Yun. The last one is known by most people as Thai tea number 18, or Hong Yu. Oh, three grams of tea leaves, 150 grams of hot water, a 1 to 50 ratio. Yeah. The hot water should be 95 degrees Celsius. Okay, cover the top. The air gates aligned with the handle. Wait for five minutes. Then we pour the water into this round bowl. Wow! Assam has a caramel flavor, so it's suitable to drink with milk. Mmm. The second one, emerald, its taste is sweet. Yes, it's sweeter. Yeah. With more flower fragrance. Now, the third one we mentioned before is number 21, Hong Yun, the newest. 
The flavor of tangerine and pomelo flowers. Very refreshing. And the last one? This is the most famous one. Thai tea number 18, a minty cinnamon fragrance. Mm, I like this one the best. The tea wakes you up. It's really refreshing. We all learned something today. Thank you to our tea expert. You're welcome.